Thank you for tuning in to this brand new installment of Heart to Heart. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and of course, it's always the hour for revival. But this is the new installment of Heart to Heart. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I believe this is the 75th installment of Heart. It is the 75th installment of Heart to Heart. Praise God in heaven. Hallelujah, Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for being with your children today, Lord. I thank you that this telecast is going to help them become more like you, Father God. I thank you that you're going to inspire even the spiritual parents that I'm preaching about today, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for my own spiritual mother and the Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, for many other people that's got spiritual parents tuning in. In the name of Jesus, amen. Glory, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Father, bless the service. Bless your people and move mightily, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Judges chapter 5 and verse number 7. Amen. The inhabitations of the valleys of the villages ceased. They ceased in Israel in that day. I, Deborah, arose, that I arose a mother in Israel. She said there wasn't nobody doing anything. There was no spiritual growth or physical growth until I, Deborah, stood up and took the lead and became a mother to the house of Israel. She was a spiritual parent. She was a parent sent by God. A woman to lead the people of God. I'm going to tell you something. Why is God choosing women in the last days? He said in the last days I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. That word prophesy in its Greek word, in its original root word, means to preach. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Look at this. He said that he would pour out his spirit upon all flesh, men and women, young men, young women, and they would prophesy, they would preach, they would bring the word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Let me tell you something. The reason God is going to choose a lot more women in the last days to preach is because they have a spiritual backbone to them that a lot of the men don't have anymore in the church. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's a lot of men that don't have enough spiritual backbone to stand up and preach, thus saith the Lord. They're as dead as last year's corn crop. They're as cold as last year's Meal that you put in the microwave. I'm telling you something right now. Glory to God. I'm telling you. But God said, I'll raise up a Deborah in this generation. That's what he's doing right now. He's raising up Deborahs. He's raising up not, not just not just Deborahs, but he's raising up Joshua's and Simeon's. He's raising up men of God as well as women of God to be the fathers and the mothers of this last generation. What do I mean by that? What I'm saying is in these last days God knows it's going to take some spiritual parents as well as physical ones but let me tell you something there's a lot of parents that ain't there for their children so God is replacing physical parents with spiritual ones because he knows somebody needs to guide them. He knows somebody needs to minister to them. He knows somebody needs to bring the word 
in their life. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am so honored and glad that God gave me my spiritual daughters to bring up in the kingdom of God. My daughter in the Lord Precious and my daughter Amanda, God gave me daughters in God. Hallelujah. And I've got a few sons in the faith as well. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm honored to be their spiritual father. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. As well as their dad. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. She was a spiritual mother to God's people. Isn't that interesting? A spiritual mother right there in the Word of God. Let's go deeper. Moses made such a reference as being a spiritual father to them, to the people of Israel. Numbers 11, 12 through 15. He said, You're, he, he said, did I give birth to these people, all these people? That you're telling me to cradle them like a mother? And you're telling me to watch over them and to feed them and to take care of these, your children of Israel, Lord. He made a reference of us being a spiritual parent. Even our Abba Father said to Abraham, he would be both a physical and a spiritual father. Genesis chapter 17, verse 4. Genesis chapter 17, verse 4. God tells Abraham, I will make you the father of many nations. He said, many kings will come from you. Genesis 17 and 4. And even the people called him as such. Acts 7 and 2. They called him a father to the people. He said, even our father Abraham. Remember, God said in his word before Jesus came, he said, I will turn the hearts of the fathers back to the sons and the sons of the fathers. He says, lest I strike that nation with a, with a judgment, with a plague. I will turn the hearts of the sons to the fathers and the fathers to the sons. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'll turn the hearts of the, fa the, the sons back to the Father. That's it. Thank you, Lord. I will turn the hearts of the sons back to the Father. But he's also doing this with the fathers to the sons as well. Amen. Glory to God. I know I keep saying that, but I'm trying to get you to understand something. Glory to God. We need each other in the body of Christ. We can't do it without each other. We are into a kingdom connection. We are into the family of the faith. He said the, 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 the hand can't say to the foot, I don't need you. We all need each other in the kingdom of God. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Even in the spirit world. He is known as a father. Luke 16, 24, when the rich man died and he lifted up his eyes in torment, he saw Lazarus and Father Abraham from afar off. And he said, Father Abraham. So even in the spirit world, remember what scripture says, we will be known as we were known. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We will be known as we were known. Yet still, I am reminded of another. Elijah was called a father. My father, my father. The chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. 
2 Kings 2 and 12, as he was getting caught up to be with the Abba Father in heaven, his spiritual son said, the one that, that he considered a father said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Jesus even gave reference to Abraham as a spiritual father. But he no notice this. He didn't say, my father Abraham. He said, your father Abraham. Glory to God. Amen. John 8, 56. He said, your father Abraham wanted to see my day. And he did. He, he longed to see my coming. And he did and was glad. And they said, you ain't even 30 years of age yet. And he said, you say you've seen Abraham. You ain't but 30 years of age and you say you've seen Abraham. And he said, as Abraham was, I am. Meaning he's God and he was there with Abraham and Abraham was there with him. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Meaning that he knew Abraham. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Watch this. So here we have in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, spiritual fathers and mothers. But let's go further. Paul called himself a spiritual father. 1 Corinthians 4, 15. He said, there are many leaders among you, but not many spiritual fathers. I say that again. There's many leaders among you, but not many are spiritual fathers. 1 Corinthians 4.15 Galatians 4.19-20 2 Timothy 1 and 2 1 Timothy 1 and 2. He addresses in the letter at the beginning that Timothy was a son to him. He was the son in the faith. Watch this. He gives us a command in 1 Timothy 5, 1 through 3. He said, you're to address older men as father and older women as mothers. But the younger women are to be your sisters in Christ. And the younger women, uh, the younger men are to be your brothers in Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, you're to call no man father. For you have but one father, Matthew 23 and 9. Why did he say that? I'm going to say this. There's nothing wrong with having spiritual parents. You need them, especially in this last day. You need somebody by the Holy Ghost filled with the Spirit of God to help lead you. Yes, pastors are wonderful, but you just need somebody to pick up the phone and say, Hey, Dad, pray for me. Hey, Mama, pray with me with me. I'm going to say that. Pray with me. Stand in agreement with me. If you can't reach your pastor, let me tell you something. Your spiritual parents are always going to be there until the Lord calls them home. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. We need accountability. We need responsibility in the church. So why did Jesus say, you're to call no man father, but Paul said he was a spiritual father. And there was a few spiritual fathers within the church. Watch this, y'all. Because they were focusing more on Abraham than on the Lord. They were saying, he's our father. Father this, father that. Father, 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 father. But God said, wait a minute now. I'm a jealous God. Don't put them before me. He said, yes, there is a father, Abraham, but God is your ultimate father. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God in heaven. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He said, God is your ultimate father. Look to him. 
Jesus is our elder brother. Are you, tell, are you hearing what I'm telling you? The Holy Spirit will teach you all truth. Whatsoever I have commanded you, Jesus said. He will lead you into all truth. Watch this, y'all. He was telling them God is the ultimate father. Because remember, God is the father to the fatherless. Psalm 68, 5 through 6. So yes, God has given us spiritual fathers, but we need others as well. Hallelujah. I mean, God has given us spiritual parents, but at the same time, you know, God, the ultimate father, has placed spiritual fathers in your path as well to become a part of your life and to help you walk with him and follow him in all his ways. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Pray for those in authority over you, for they will give an account for your soul. Amen. Glory to God. I'm almost done here, y'all. Again, he made a... God made a reference to Mary being a spiritual mother and John being a spiritual son. John 19, 26 through 27. Let me say this. At the cross, he said, Mother, behold thy son. Son, behold thy mother. So, this whole time we've been talking about this, I want you to understand something. God is your Father in Heaven. If you've never known an earthly father, God will put leaders and fathers in your path to help guide you that have walked with Him and love Him and love you. Amen. Glory to God. They will love you like their own. Amen. Glory to God. But if you've never had a relationship with Jesus Christ and you're sick of religion and you want a personal relationship with the one who lived and loved and died for you and rose again, that not even death itself could keep him separated from you. But he used death as a tool to draw you to his side forever. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Lord Jesus, wash me, cleanse me, fill me with your Holy Spirit that I might make heaven my home. In the name of Yeshua Jesus, hallelujah, amen. If you pray that prayer, write to me, Revival at yahoo.com. I want to celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I pray healing. I pray deliverance. I pray Jesus fill you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. I love you. God bless you. See you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.